So why do we self-sabotage if we know and want better? Let's say you want to have more impact as a leader, but you end up not really speaking up. Or you want to become more empowering, but you end up dominating situations. So what's happening in the brain? Well, there's actually no evil self-sabotaging part in there. Your brain is simply designed to keep you safe, and it will do this the quickest and easiest way possible. In new situations, this typically means relying on an old behavior. Why? Because that strategy used to work. So what's one thing you can do about this? Well, in new situations, your brain needs a little bit of extra help. So you may want to design in advance one really clear and simple thing you can do. Because in tricky situations, the brain needs really clear instructions. So let's say you want to speak up more in meetings. Well, maybe prepare in advance one or two specific things you can share. Or let's say you want to give more space to other people. Well, maybe make it a habit to let three people speak before you go next. So these are kind of small manageable actions that the brain can use when learning a new behavior.